and we start off with Rona sailing out towards the forts see the runners there runners on the main and on the mizzen sailing out now towards the nab tower with Lily Maid on the port bar To steer Rona, you had to sit astride the steering box. Somebody reading a paper in the background, bad cell training in the 60s. And somebody sitting on the rail, even worse. Spud bashing. The English Channel is pretty full of London Sailing Project buckets. Sailing in Rona, back through the Needles Channel. Concentrato. In those days, watch leaders wore white sweaters. Rona was quite lively in the seaway. She healed a lot, and as you can see there, pitched as well. There's the runners again from inboard. Putting a reef in Rona was interesting. There's Lily Maid on the moorings at Gosport. And sequence of Lily Maid getting ready to get underway. Please do not hit the boy with the bow. Just left the moorings at Gosport and getting ready to set sail. Lily made quite well reefed down. Lily made 
and if it be a boy child, he'll wear the jacket blue and go climbing up the rigging like and under uh, it's lonely. Working out on the bowsprit to change the head saw. It was only a short bowsprit, but it seemed a long way out. And this is the start of a tall ship's race off Weymouth. There's Dodo manoeuvring for the start and Rona. Either Churchill or Miller in the background. Getting the big Genoa ready for setting. See the two Koipus mounted amidships there on their sides, upside down. Amazingly they stayed there, didn't get washed away. And Ilanthus, Lord Avery's own yacht, which was also used by the project for that, that time. There's Dodo on the moorings in Gosport with the stern of Rona. Getting ready to get underway. Making sail. Quite good sail drill there. Head sails up and there's an out pretty well together. We just left the morning. The marks on the sail were because the shrouds were the winch robe of an old truck which we'd fitted in Spain on the way up from Malta hadn't yet been changed. And a shot of the boats on their moorings near the ferry at Gosport. Mike Parker getting down into the outboard launch. Had to go all the way back to the yard, backwards and forwards for all maintenance jobs. Wasted a lot of time.
we had two launches then, the outboard and an inboard launch, both of which came with Rona and originally had been carried on Rona's deck. There's Lily Maid up in the yard and having a survey, the result of which was we decided she wasn't strong enough to do cell training in the English Channel. So Mike Jarrell bought her and sold her to Australia and about eight times across the Atlantic. But he did do a lot of work on her himself. There's Dodo out of the water and Commander Walter Scott who was the first project organizer and very much set up the way the whole project has worked ever since. And this gives you a chance to see the extraordinary underwater design of Dodo. She was very advanced for her time. But sadly I think that configuration led to her leaking. Those who sailed in it will remember that you spent a lot of time pumping out the shallow bilges. And so there we are, some very grainy, very old 8mm amateur film converted to a modern format.